2013, I met Paul Miller. And I posted this on my Facebook page. I was looking at this the other day that I wrote. I met a quadruple amputee today who told me that he was blessed. So a couple months earlier, Paul was watching the Super Bowl. Hands and feet were numb. Suddenly, they were turning black. And his wife, Shelly, took him to the hospital. And they found out he had streptococcus pneumonia. And his wife, they had to induce him into a coma. And while he was in this coma, his wife had to make the decision to either have his hands and feet removed or he would die. So Debbie prayed. She prayed that she would make the right decision. Debbie prayed that when Paul comes out of it that he would, that he would trust the decision that she made, that he would accept what is now in front of him. Paul from Spring Grove owned a trucking company. Very physical. Just a very active physical man. Months ahead, I meet Paul. You meet Paul, Paul's doing physical therapy, and the first thing Paul does is give you a little nub, and then he tells you that he's blessed. And you, and you think to yourself, at least I was thinking to myself, this guy is full of crap. There's no way that someone in his condition is this positive, is this upbeat, is this amazing. But over the course of six months that I got to spend with Paul, I realized through the combination of humor and faith and family and friends and community, that Paul was everything that he says he was, and more. But you see, Paul's not the hero of this story. See, his wife Shelly truly suffered through PTSD. His wife Shelly had to make those decisions. His wife Shelly had to watch him do this. His wife Shelly had to dress him every day. His wife Shelly had to bathe him every day. Well, Paul laughed and joked and round, Shelly just stood in the back and she smiled and waved. And many times I say to Paul, hey, I'd love to come over and actually get some photographs or get video of Shelly. Oh, by the way, I'm with the York Daily Records on the news of time taking photographs. I probably passed that up. That's how I met Paul. Sorry. I'm skipping on that story entirely. Sorry. I'm taking photos of Paul. Boy, I just effed my whole score up there with my man. Anyway. So, so I would say, hey, can I come over and get photographs while Shelly is doing this with you? And Paul, being the epic guy that he is, goes, oh, yeah, sure, absolutely, no problem. While Shelly was like, whoa, 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 pump the brakes. You know, she was not ready to talk about it. She was not ready to, to have me photograph him doing that. She was, but she was sweet, and she was nice, and she would do these things. And the thing was, I always thought to myself, if I was Paul, could I do what he did? And I thought, I would always hope that in my heart that I could. But I thought to myself, could I be Shelly? Could I be Shelly? Could I do what she did? See, in 2004, I had spinal surgery because there was a tumor on my spine. I had to relearn how to walk again. I don't get sick, folks. I get surgeries. <laughs> I've had spinal surgery. I've had hernia surgery. I've had knee surgery. I've had four eye surgeries on my right eye and one on my right and my left. Through all of that, Melissa has been there. My wife, Melissa, has been there through all of it. And after 25 years as a journalist, I decided I was going to stop. And that I was going to move on and do something else. And I had many a panic attacks because I thought to myself, I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm cutting off my arms and I'm cutting off my feet because this is who I am. But Melissa, she told me, she said, you can do this. Kick ass. And, and I don't believe in heroes. I just don't. But we live in a home. <laughs> and she's the closest thing I have to a hero. And I, my wife's right there, and I love her. And I just want to say thank you. And I don't give a shit if I win. I just wanted to say that. So. <laughs>